Wisconsin's unemployment insurance system was not prepared for the last recession. The state had to borrow a billion and a half dollars from the feds to pay out benefits. Now Wisconsin employers are stuck paying it all back, plus separate bills for the interest. A group of Republican lawmakers says it's time to reform Wisconsin's unemployment insurance system. Along with 28 other legislative colleagues, we've sent you a letter earlier this month outlining numerous proposals aimed at strengthening, strengthening the solvency of Wisconsin's UI Trust Fund and rooting out the waste, fraud, and abuse within the system. On Thursday, Representatives Kapinga and Canodal met with the Unemployment Insurance Advisory Council about their plans. The council is made up of business and labor leaders and essentially sets the state's UI policy. Kapinga said there are only three factors that make up UI policy, tax rates, wage levels, and eligibility. And if you look at the history of what's driving increases and decreases in the fund, we've, we've pulled the lever of the tax rate increases. Both FUDA and SUDA are, are maxing right now uh, tax rates. The wage uh, benefit or the wage level has increased. So we've pulled those two levers pretty consistently. And, um, and I think the one lever that we're still looking at is eligibility. Wisconsin has some of the most generous unemployment eligibility requirements in the country. There are 18 reasons a worker can quit their job and still receive benefits. When a worker is fired for stealing from their company, they can also still qualify. And many workers are exempt from having to look for work while receiving benefits. I'm sure you've all heard the horror stories ranging from employees collecting UI while incarcerated to people being fired for breaking laws and later are found to be eligible for UI benefits. But the council seemed fixated on the tax angle. The debate drifted towards when is the best time to tax employers, before or after a recession. I've been appalled over the last couple of years to hear uh, how business owners and managers were caught by surprise by the increase in, in tax rates. And I, I think we need to do a better job, and this is not a criticism of the department, because <coughs> the department needs to get the information out that folks were deeply in debt, there's, there's going to be a bill to be paid. The media has to feel that that's a valid story and get that out, and people have to be listening <coughs> and catching the message. The council only has until May 2nd to make any recommendations to the lawmakers before they plan to introduce their unemployment insurance reform bill. For the McIver Institute, I'm Bill Osmolsky.